Welcome to the second video addressing the difference between state and federal court. In the first video, we talked about what kind of cases end up in federal court and how cases get there. In this video, we're going to talk about how cases are handled in federal court and how that's different from state court. One big difference is the investigation that's been done before a case ends up in court. Some cases end up there simply because somebody gets arrested for a federal offense. But the more common situation is that cases end up there after an investigation by one or more federal agencies. Some of those cases are the result of joint investigations by different agencies such as DEA, IRS, and even local agencies. And the result of those investigations is usually a case that involves multiple charges and multiple defendants. It's rare to see that happen in state court. There are some big differences between state and federal court in how cases are processed and handled. And the first big difference is that there is effectively no way to get somebody released on bail. The first issue after someone is arrested is whether they're going to be detained pending trial. Detention hearings are held fairly quickly, and so it's important to be proactive and ready for that hearing. The other big difference is in sentencing. Prosecutors don't make recommendations on what a sentence should be. For example, you can't agree that a sentence should be five years probation or five years in prison. Instead, sentences are determined by the federal sentencing guidelines. The application of the guidelines is complicated, and that's why you need a lawyer that's experienced in handling federal criminal cases. We've handled hundreds of federal cases over the last 40 years. We've even appealed cases and had sentences reversed because the guidelines weren't properly applied. Let us put that experience to work for you. Give us a call now and let us start helping.